Hey Shark fans, welcome to this week's edition of Shark Weekly. I'm your boy Bessel Mohamed. And here's my teammate Victor Johnson, the Iceman. Freeze! No, we're not doing that joke. Oh. Oh. You're welcome for that assist, by the way. <laughs> Today we will catch you up on all of last week's results, hear from our director of athletics, Michael Mamini, and get you ready for what we have going on in this week. We've had a great fall so far for uh, NSU Sharks Athletics. Uh, we're out here at beautiful PGA National Resort and Spa hosting the uh, Golf Rank Invitation. We have some great teams uh, from around the country, of course, hosted by our two great teams, our men's and women's golf team. So we'll see how we finish up, but things are going well out here uh, right now in Palm Beach County. Uh, as far as the fall sports, of course, it's headlined by our women's soccer team, who's having a phenomenal year. They have a big, uh, big couple matches left in their season, but uh, top 10 team and Coach John Constable and the girls are doing a great job. Uh, off on volleyball and cross country, of course, our swim team, so it's a busy time in, in beautiful South Florida, and we look forward to a strong finish in the fall and the start of our winter season's coming up here in a few weeks. After drawing with Barry last Wednesday, women's soccer took down Eckerd on Saturday, 2-0. The Sharks remain in contention for a top seed in the regional tournament heading into November. Swimming had another quality meet this past Friday. Swimming in the FIU tribe meet in Miami, the Sharks swam seven NCAA provisional qualifying times throughout the meet. Volleyball had a tough weekend on the West Coast, dropping matches to Tampa and in Lyon. The Sharks lost a hard-fought match last night to Lynn, but look forward to earn two road wins this weekend at Eckerd and Florida Southern. Cross country competing in the SEC Championship this past weekend in Melbourne. The Sharks finished sixth on the women's side and third on the men's side. My teammates and I took down Barry last Wednesday on their home turf, winning by a score of 3-2. Noel Johnson! Filippo Mancini and Juanes Devia all scored against the Bucks, and Bestoon here added an assist. Lastly, the rowing team, our row, competed in the head of the Charles Regatta this past weekend in Boston. The Sharks finished seventh out of 35 teams, defeating multiple Premier Division One programs. Row, row. <laughs> all right, that's all we have for you today, Shark fans. Thank you for tuning into this week's episode. We hope you will join me and my teammates at Senior Night on Friday night where me and the other seniors will be playing our last game as well as all of the other home events this week. I'm your Iceman Victor Johnson, and this is my teammate Bester Mohamed signing off. We outie! I'm not no. saying that. No. <laughs> you say that enough yourself. Yeah, but I want the old Sharks fans to know that. Yeah, com you put it in the comments on YouTube. Put imagine, it in the comments. Imagine how many Instagram followers I would get through this. Do me this like one. Like four. Yeah, put do it, put me this one. <laughs>